need to wash my makeup brushes. Listen, here's the thing. I pride myself in being a clean woman. I wash my hair every day, I shower every day obviously, I always wash my face, never go to bed with makeup on, blah blah blah. But <laughs> makeup brushes are the one area of my life that I'm a little bit of a gremlin. I put off washing my makeup brushes, don't know why, but today that's about to change. These bad boys right here are my most used makeup brushes, so I'm gonna wash them first because they have gotten the most treatment. Just letting you know now, this is not gonna be professional or satisfying or nice. I literally just have a towel that I'm sitting out for them to dry. This is my cleaning product of the day. Gotta be real. Oh my gosh, the be real notification just went off as I said that. Ugh, it's like they know. Well, you can tell this is the blush brush considering it looks like strawberry milk in my sink. Um, maybe it doesn't look like strawberry milk. Maybe it just looks gross. I wish I was better at keeping my makeup brushes clean because it doesn't make sense to me because I'm so clean and everything else. And with the way I think about things, that should be something that really makes me get grossed out that I don't keep them as clean as I should. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Also, it's not still dirty. I know people are going to be like, oh, it's still pink. This brush naturally has a pink tint at the top. It's a blush brush. It's the whole cutesy thing. Don't come at me for it. I know how to clean things. Never mind the fact that I'm cleaning them with hand soap. This is kind of just my process. I just put soap in my hand and I just swirl it around. Look at that soap, wow. Maybe my skin will stop breaking out now that I'm washing these. My skin's just had a lot of texture on the cheeks and chin and blah, which is not ideal. This brush is gonna have a lot of gunk. Do oh. you see that? You know what I was thinking about earlier? So I don't like seafood, but I was thinking about how people eat seafood and I just realized seafood is kind of marinating until it's caught. You know what I mean? All the little crabs and fish and I don't know what else, clams, they're just marinating in the ocean. It's like a big dressing. Seafood's disgusting though, so. Guys, I just pulled my makeup brush out of the thingy. Uh-oh. No. Wait, I'm shutting it back in. Like it never happened. It's fine. Oh my gosh. This, this is so sad. What? Should I throw it out? It's going bald. Considering the fact that I literally just pulled it out, I think it's safe to say. I've had that brush since I was in high school. And granted, I'm still young, but it's been like five years, I think, that I've had that. Next brush. This brush is my real tried and true gets me through everything brush. Ugh. I use this like every day. So good. Oh my gosh, why does this keep happening? What the heck? What am I doing wrong? This is such a sad sight right now. The, they didn't even show signs of coming out. I meant to say they didn't even show any hairs falling out or there was no warning. Well, Looks like I have to buy some new brushes. To be fair, I've had this one probably since middle school. I think it's gone. Maybe it is time to let the old ways die. In the arms of the angel. You know something I've realized, which makes me unsettled? I'm a mouth breather. I knew I did mouth breathe sometimes, like especially when I'm sick, everybody mouth breathes a little bit, it's not in the world. But I have a deviated septum, basically means I can't breathe out of this side of my nose. Like I get maybe 20% of the air that I'm supposed to be getting on this side of my nose. And I have to get that fixed, but I haven't yet. Watching my videos, because I have to watch them to edit them, and then I watch them once they're fully edited, and then I usually watch them again once they're on YouTube. And I mouth breathe a lot, like so many of the shots I just kind of sit there like, because I breathe through my nose a lot too, but my mouth is just open. And so I can only assume that I mouth breathe and that's not ideal. In the words of Lizzo, truth hurts. Last night I was doing my homework. I had a ton of homework to do because I procrastinate. But I was doing it and I have, basically all my homework is writing essays. Writing essays, writing discussion boards, peer reviewing. That's all I do um, because I'm an English major and I love it, but sometimes I just wish I could take a quiz. I don't even like math, but I sometimes miss when I had math classes where it was just multiple choice questions and I could just kind of get away with guessing. I'm not that great at math, but you know what? I am 
really proud of myself and anyone who knows me will be shocked at this but my best friend Stella is in a basic mathematic intro to something she's in a really basic level math class it goes through all all the basics of a lot of different math but she had this problem that she sent to me yesterday because she didn't know how to do it and lord knows why she sent it to me because she knows I can't do math but I did it all I had to do is add up some numbers to get the rows and I got it the only thing is I never was taught how to do it so I didn't know how to get the last bit but I did it. I helped her do her math homework. And that, that's an accomplishment. You know what I think about every day though? I wanna be a housewife and I wanna be a mom and I wanna take care of my home. I've wanted that since I was a little girl. And sometimes as I sit writing my essays, I just think, why am I doing this? Granted, I am very appreciative of an education and I love college. I love learning. I love being smart and knowing I'm learning. <sighs> but sometimes when I have a bunch of stuff to do, and I'm sitting in my room in the dark and my eyes are hurting and I can feel the carpal tunnel coming in. I just, I question it all. It is such a first world problem though, but I am glad to have that problem. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people saying lately too that education is just not, or higher education is not as valuable as it used to be. A degree is not um, as important anymore and blah, blah, blah. And I think that's true to an extent but I also will say, as someone who's at the age where all her friends have almost graduated or are graduated, it does still mean something. I'm not saying everyone has to go to college. Like trade schools are a great option. If you're gonna go be an entrepreneur and you know what you're doing, go for it. Go accomplish your dreams. But college is still somewhat valuable. For a while I was kind of leaning on the side of like, man, college really doesn't matter. And the more I see it, I guess because I'm getting more into adulthood, I, I do see the value. I, I see that even just having a degree, like most places, they don't care about what it's in. They just want you to have one. So, you know, Plus, my mom used to always tell me this because she used to be a professor. She was a teacher, a professor. She's done all the things. But she used to always tell me when I was little and even now, never waste an opportunity to learn. No knowledge is ever wasted. And so I think that's just instilled in me. If I have the chance to go and learn, do it. Actually, I don't think I've ever told this story on YouTube, but I have, I transferred my sophomore year of college to Liberty, which is where I go now. Um, I go online. Basically, when I first started college, I went to a really small private school in Dallas and I lived on campus, but I started college the spring semester of 2020. So if you see where I'm going with this. I lived on campus for eight weeks, I'm pretty sure. Then I went on spring break and I went on a mission trip with my college. We went to Costa Rica. And as we were in Costa Rica, we were getting news uh, that the US was on the brink of shutting down, like things were happening. I was like, oh, whatever, no, we'll be fine. Not even thinking about it because I was in a different country, just out of the loop. We come home and they say, hey, everybody get your, your perishables out of your dorms. Like you can leave your bedding, leave all that stuff, but just we're gonna have an extra week of spring break. So if you have anything you don't wanna stay in here too long, then take it out. Two days after that long spring break announcement, we get a text that says, everybody come and move your stuff out of the dorms. We're shutting down for the rest of the semester. So my family loads up the car. We go, we have to do a time slot thing because they, you know, COVID was like, don't touch anybody, don't look at anybody. Fill the car up to the brim and take everything home. And after that, I just never went back. I stayed at that college for a little while longer. I think about a year. But the second or the second semester of my sophomore year, I transferred to Liberty online because I always have wanted to stay close. And again, this is another thing I don't think I've ever shared online, but I, I lead a youth group and I have since I was 17. So fresh out of high school, I started leading this youth group. I love the girls so much and I'm so proud of who they're becoming and I'm so thankful to be a part of this. But since I started it so young, I think people just kind of thought it was going to be like, oh, she'll do this for a few years and then move on. But I knew when I started, I was committed because I felt the Lord calling me to this and I knew this is what he wants me to do. Uh, ministering to these girls is what I need to do for right now. And so that went into me choosing a college. I originally went to the one in Dallas because it was close and I came home every week, twice a week, every week for church and youth group. And then when I transferred, I had looked at a couple things and then ended up going with Liberty because it allowed me to stay and to pour into my girls and be there every single week. And be there in their lives outside of just Wednesdays. And so now it's been five years with the girls, four years? I think four, this is four years. It's been really cool 
and hard and wonderful and terrible at times and and all of the emotions you can think of but I don't know I just I look at that and sometimes I get used to it because it's my life moments like these the Lord just kind of touches my heart and makes me realize like that is so special that I get to have that with all of these girls it's really special anyways that's a little more behind the scenes of my life but anywho my makeup brushes are washed and now i'm gonna let them dry so i'll catch you guys whenever i catch you next